them way behind other countries. Our airports, our levees and dams need to be repaired. This campaign is listening to our brothers and sisters in the Native American community. Everybody here knows that the way this country, going back even before we were a country, the way that the Native American people have been treated from day one is a national disgrace. Native Americans have been lied to, they have been cheated, treaties negotiated have been broken, and today all over this country we're finding many Native American communities in deep economic despair. If elected president, we will begin treating our Native American people with the respect that they do. This campaign is listening to young people. And what young people are saying is, how does it happen when everybody told us we needed to get an education, when they told us that we needed the best educated workforce in the world? Why are we leaving school twenty, fifty thousand dollars $50,000 in debt? In my view, in the year 2016, when we talk about public education, it is not good enough just to talk about the first grade through the 12th grade. The world has changed. The economy has changed. Our public school systems have to change, and that means making public colleges and universities tuition free. I want, and this is not a radical idea, I want every kid in this country who studies hard, does well in school, to be able to go to college regardless of his or her income. I am a member of the U.S. Senate Committee on the Environment. And I have talked to scientists all over the world. The debate is over. Climate change is real. It is caused by human activity. And together, we are going to break our dependence on fossil fuel. and transform our energy system into sustainable energy and energy efficiency. Now, I have been criticized for saying this, so let me say it again. I believe that health care is a right for all people. I
I believe there is something wrong when every other major country on earth provides health care as a right and we do not. Today, the Affordable, the Affordable Care Act has done a lot of good, but we need to do more. Today, 29 million people have no health insurance, and even more are underinsured. Today, we are being ripped off big time by the drug companies, who are charging us the highest prices in the world for prescription drugs. Today in America, one out of five people cannot even afford the prescriptions their doctors write. So I think we join the rest of the industrialized world. We pass a Medicare for all single payer program. Everybody here knows that change in America always takes place from the bottom on up, not from the top down. That is the history of the trade union movement where workers came together to fight for dignity. That is the history of the Civil Rights Movement, where African Americans and their allies stood together and said that racism, bigotry, and discrimination will not continue in America. That is the history of the women's movement. Let us not forget, a hundred years ago, women did not have the right to vote, the right to get an education. They did not have the right to do the jobs they wanted to do. But what happened is women stood up with their male allies. By the millions. And they said together that in this country, women will not be second class citizens. And that is the history of the gay movement in this country. Where against incredible hatred and opposition, the gay community and their straight allies said that in this country, people will have the right to love whomever they want, regardless of gender. That is how change takes place. Change takes place in a very profound moment when people look around them and they say, the status quo is not working, not good enough. And today, all over this country, people are looking around and they're saying, grotesque levels of income and wealth inequality is unacceptable. They are saying that we should not be the only major country on earth 
that does not guarantee paid family and medical leave. They are saying that we should not have the highest rate of childhood poverty of any major country on earth. They are saying that millions of our people should not have to be buried in student debt for decades. They are saying that we should not have more people in jail than any other country. They are saying that we should not get involved in wars that are killing our young people. This is a pivotal moment in American history. Either we continue down the path in which the politics and economics of this country is controlled by a handful of billionaires, or, or whether we make a political revolution. And what, and what that revolution is about is people standing up from coast to coast saying enough is enough. That our government belongs to all of us, not just a handful of campaign contributors. In early June, California, the largest state in our nation, will have, will have a major role to play in taking this country forward. If there is a large voter turnout, we will win here in California. On primary day here in California, please come out to vote. Bring your friends and your relatives. Let's do it. Thank you all very much.